What up? What up? What up, though? What's poppin'? What's happening? What's going on? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. Make some noise. Woo! You talking about a good night of fights. Oh, man, this was amazing. Oh, this was amazing. This was amazing night of boxing. Congratulations to Oshaki Foster. Nights like this is what dreams are made of, man. You know, have two losses early in your career. People write you off thinking you're not what you said you were. And, and then you go in there on a night like this against an undefeated champion, moving up in weight, trying to get another title. And you say, no, no, no. It's my time now. It's my time now. And he beat him. I mean, he beat him, bro. I'll, I'll just, he would just, I can't even explain what he was doing in the 12th round, man. Like, where does he get that gas tank from? As you can see by their faces, too. Yeah, he bruised them up, too, man. He touched him up. Good. Congratulations to Oshaki Foster. What a night. What a fight. Hey, look, even the undercards were amazing tonight. Oh, my God. The undercards, man. Oh, Barrios put the beats on my boy. Damn. Oh, man. Yeah, he shocked the world tonight, Velocity, because Oshaki Foster shocked the world. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Oh, man, we're going to have a good night on this one, man. We're going to have a good night on this one. Y'all give me five minutes. I'm going to let the room populate. I'm going to blast the link out. Let everybody know we live, baby. Oh, my God. I'm going to open these phone lines up. We're going to take some calls. And, man... What's next? What's next? Who, I know they said uh, he has some mandatories. I believe he got to do a couple mandatories um, because he did win a vacant belt. But, man, I want to see him go right in there with Navarrete. I want to see him versus Navarrete. That's what I want to see. I want to see him versus Navarrete. I, I, I got to see it. I got to see it. So this is going to be a good one, man. I'm so excited about this, uh, this young man's future, man. Like I said, he... Get, yeah, his story, just such an amazing story. Such an amazing story. Lost his mom, lost his grandma, lost his mom. And yeah, man. And to go in there and to beat a champion, an undefeated champion, moving up in weight, trying to get another title. Psh, he said, no, tonight is my night. I will not be denied. You saw that early on, too. This kid just wasn't going to be denied, man. I, I mean... I don't even, I think I might have gave Vargas one, maybe two rounds. I don't know what he thought he was about to do. Maybe he just looked at the guy record and said, I'm going to beat him. But I don't know what he thought, but this kid, Oshaki Foster, went in there and said, tonight is my night. It's my time. Yeah, and I love it. Make some noise for him. Man, my opening phone lines up. Y'all know how we do. We're going to drop the link gonna open the phone lines up we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it but what a night of boxing truly remarkable um we're gonna talk about the undercards too because what happened in that heavyweight fight did did um did he break a rib did my boy break his ribs because he, he he turned around he was looking kind of weird when he got hit in the uh he got hit like um on the left side he was like what up what he said he was like my back is broken my office like, what do you mean by that? You broke back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Oh yeah. I thought he broke something spinal. The way he just turned around out of nowhere. Oh my God. He put a beating on that boy. And then he just lost it. I mean, I thought he was winning the fight, and then he just lost it right there at the end. But hey, that's why boxing is so dope. It don't matter how good you look in the whole fight. One punch, one fight, one night can change your life forever. So look, I talked long enough. Let me run this intro, blast the link out, let everybody know we live. I think we kept it clean long enough for this first five minutes. You know, YouTube don't like no cussing at the beginning of the show. So I had to talk for a little bit for no cussing. But um, <laughs> it's going to be some cussing when we come back. I know some people going to be calling in and they got something to say. Um, it's your man, Martin Ash, breaking beats. Let's get it, baby. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. But some days, sometimes I'm just like you, man. I hate this job. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this 
job, I'm just like you, like you, like you. Damn, I hate this job. Sometimes. Man, I hate this job. Sometimes. Man, I hate my job. From a good dream, I wake. Sun rays on my face. Plan it out my day, hoping this ain't the one that I catch a case. I feel so good, I feel so straight. My manager keep calling me, saying, hurry up, you late. Hurry up, you late, I'll f*** y'all. Man, I hate this job. Man, man, I hate this job. Been trying to play it cool, but it's hard to play it off. I been hanging on to this bullshit, cause my car still ain't paid off. I know I'm on my way up, my boy just got laid off, so f*** Y'all, man, I hate this job. Man, man, I hate this job. These hooks here so ratchet. These hooks here so sneaky. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't even really pay enough for y'all to only pay bi weekly. I'm trying to double up my cash. Take this job, shove it up your ass. Yo, yo, man, I hate this job. Sometimes I wanna say, get walk in and slap my boss. This shit is getting hard. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Gotta make it out of this struggle, bruh. And I don't really mean to take it out on you. You just a customer, but damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. We're the reason why your stockholders always stay afloat. Yet I'm asking, are they hiring? Like everywhere I go, schedule will say nine, but I think it's fine. If I clock in at 904, I work 40 hours a week plus overtime just to be bro. So f y'all, man, I hate this job. Hate, hate that I applied. So much has transpired since the day that I was high. Told me I could advance, but you were telling me lies. Gotta give your notice before I quit. But you don't say she right before I'm fired. Damn, man, I hate this job. Sometimes I wanna say, get walk in and slap my boss. This shit is getting hard. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Gotta make it out of this struggle, bruh. And I don't really mean to take it out on you. You just a customer, but damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate uh, this job. You and your procedures. You and your protocol. You and your policies. None that shit don't apply to me. You and your quotas. You and your standards. You and your two sick days a year. Y'all niggas bananas. Wonder why the postman's poster with hammers. Going postal with Popo on camera. His wage got him enraged. Stressed out, it's hard to maintain. He flips the metal. Grabs his. He said, if you don't get the picture, bitch, I quit. You ain't shoot, mother of man. I hate this job. Sometimes I wanna say, get walk in and slap my boss. This shit is getting hard. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Gotta make it out of this struggle, bruh. And I don't really mean to take it out on you. You just a customer, bruh. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate. Job. I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like you. I might have tried to take care of my family. Damn, 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 I hate this job. It's not always glamorous, for real. But I do what I gotta do for me and mine, you know? Damn, 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 I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Somebody got my hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. I'm just like you, like you, like you, nigga. Damn, I hate this job. Man, I hate this job. Man, I hate my job. The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers, commentators, experts, and or the hosts. They do not explicitly nor necessarily reflect nor represent the channel's policy or the views held by the channel or broadcaster. The broadcaster or its channel cannot be held accountable for all or any views expressed during the program. Basically, if I didn't say it, don't come for me. You come for the person who said it. And please don't sue me for somebody else's words. With that said, let's start the show, mother.
Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you mean by that? What up, what up, what up, what up? What up, what up though? What up, gangsta? How y'all feel? What's the deal? What's popping? What's happening? What's going on? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another one. Another one. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. Oh, my God. And the new. And the new. Wow, congratulations to Oshaki Foster. Shock the world tonight, baby. Oh my God, I've got to get these phone lines open. We're going to talk all about it. What a fight, what a night. Had some good knockouts early on on this card, too. Um, I ain't going to lie, I was truly impressed, man. Damn good night. Yes, yes, I needed a good fight, man. I needed a good fight. I've been punching the bag last couple of days. Mad at the world. You know how that go. Put a case on me. Take it out on the bag. Oh, my goodness, man. Let me see what they're saying in the chat. What did y'all think of the fight, Sneed? What up? Food Revolution. She said, uh, Mark, good fight. They both did their best, but the better man won. Hell, yeah. Man, Vargas just, man, I don't know what. I didn't even recognize Vargas in there. Maybe it was the 130. Maybe it was the weight. Um... He just he just couldn't touch this guy. He just couldn't get him. That reach, the shorter guy had the longer reach. Another one of those weird things that you'll see in boxing sometimes. Shorter guy had the longer reach. Um, let me do this before I start the show. Y'all know how I like to do. I got a survey in the chat. I got a survey in the chat. Got a survey in the chat. All I ask is when you hit the survey, click the like button right there beside it. Well, it's not right beside it, but click that like button, click the survey. All right. Thank you so much. Um, let me say this. Let me do my neighbors only roll call because without the neighbors, the show wouldn't be the show at this level, baby. And we on our way to 15,000 subscribers. So I appreciate you all. Let me do the neighbors only roll call. And it wrong button, wrong button. There we go. Let me do this neighbors only roll call because without the neighbors, like I said, I couldn't, I wouldn't be here without y'all. So let me take it from the tippity top. Uh, Juan Davila, what up? What up? Beyond the Ring with Nonito and Rachel Donair. Oh, yeah, we got a future Hall of Famer rocking with us, y'all. What up? Kansas City Mac. What up? That guy clips 330. What up? True Media Today, USA Boxing. That's Coach Malachi Williams. What up, fam? What up? Tar Hill Resin. What up? Porto. What up? Man, that first uh fight was so good, man. As soon as it happened, I was like, man, let me call somebody who I know watching on the cards. I started calling Porto. I said, Porto, you seeing this shit? What up? Stephen Bateman in Australia. What up? Food Revolution. She in the chat. What up? C Jones 0224. What up? KP from KC5. What up? TJR. What up? Matt Wade. What up? DJ. What up? Karma Serene. What up? Ill Status Boxing. What up? Ace Retro. What up? Tank the Sweet Signs Examiner. What up? Beyond Above Media. What up? Pittsburgh T. My brother. What up, though? What up, gangsta? SF City Slicker. What up? I know boxing. What up? Boxing Lounge. What up? It's Mex. What up? Mike from Boston. What up? Ride of the Storm. What up? Here to there. What up? Miss Queen Sun Kissed. What up? Man, I saw you bowling yesterday. I didn't know you can bowl, man. You did pretty up, good. Gangsta? Taylor Bell. What up? Maddie Yoel. What up? Cliff Bailey. What up? Con what up? Lisa Bell. She never fails. What up, gangsta? Cooking with the champ. What up? On the Mike with Terrence Bailey Sr. What up? HL Deasy. What up? Cooking with Sir Sr. What up? Brand in Washington. What up? Lady Shan Dunn, them season, my UK girl all the way in London town. What up, gangsta? The Bevel the Champ. What up? And of course, my good brother, the big fish himself, Dare Lincoln. What up, gangsta? I we gotta talk about it, y'all. We gotta talk about it. Let me make sure I got the phone lines open. And we're gonna talk about this damn fight. Let me see. Let me see. Put the phone line on the screen so y'all know what I mean when I say these things. 446 1766 404-692-1766. You can call in, voice your opinion about the fight. I'll put you right in the mix, all right? Let's see. Where do I want to start it with my breakdown? I'm make sure I got the link out there, too. I'll let y'all pull up, get y'all get y'all, get y'all y'all opinion off. We got to talk about it. So where we want to start? Let's start with this undercard. 
Now, the undercard went down. We had um, two heavyweights. It was Faust and Pedro. Now, if you're watching this fight, the whole time, you're thinking, Pedro needs to let his hands go. Stop waiting. Why is he just sitting there waiting? Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Um, he was waiting for the counter. And finally, he does catch him with a good counter. Actually, no, he led. I think he led that exchange. It was a right hand to the body. Hit my man on the left side. When he hit him with the right hand to the body, he followed with a left up top, snaps my man head back. Then out of nowhere, you see Foster just turns his back, rub his nose. I mean, um, what time the flight lead tomorrow? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out what the kid's going to eat when we get home. I'm like, bro, you still in a fight. The fight ain't over. He got hit, bang, bang. And he was like, shit. Um, so Tweedledee, Tweedledum, where the hell you from? Um, oh, shit, I'm still in the fight. Bing, bing, get hit a couple more times. The referee waves it off. Can't have the guy getting there, sitting there taking unnecessary punishment to the face. I mean, he was just getting, he started getting hit a couple more times. He turned his back, literally turned his back in the middle of the fight. I think he broke a rib or something. I don't know. Put a case on it. Anybody know yet? Anybody know if he broke a rib or not? Rubski, what it do? What's popping with it? The boxing scholar, holler. PGH, big dog, what up, though? Um, she said, uh, yeah, it's been a while. I'm a little rusty. Yeah, I saw you, man. What, what the hell you was bowling there? You only had two bowling bowling lanes, um, sis. I was like, she had some, she had a rich nigga house with private bowling alley. Like, it's only two lanes. Or either you in the smallest town ever. The hell you bowling with only two lanes in the building? Or was that a private room? Um, uh, Ruski, what up? Bruce Leaf, my brother, man. Bruce Leaf, what's smoking with you, baby? Uh, Bishop of Time, that's my guy right there. What's up, fam? He said, Martin Ash, what, what's up with it? Yeah, I know that's Bishop of Times. That's Bucks Barnes, baby. Beat Technicians. Shout out to the Beat Technicians, man. Okay, Scans Rams, what up? Matt Wade in the building. What up, my brother? All right. What y'all think of these fights, man? Phone number out there, the link is open. All right, so then we go to the next fight. Man, the next fight was my guy, Mario Barrios. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mario Barrios? Yeah, I said it. That's my guy, damn it, Mario Barrios. Now, last time we saw Mario Barrios, he was looking like the elephant man. I mean, Keith Thurman took him 12 rounds, and he just thoroughly... uh. Beat the dog shit out of my boy Mario Barrios. I mean, put a case on that. I mean, Mario Barrios' face was like, like, like looking terrible. Looking terrible. I was like, damn, let me see if I got that old picture of Mario Barrios still on my IG. Because I had a damn comparison of Mario Barrios before and afterwards. Let me see if I can find it. Mario Barrios was looking. He was like, looking like Mario, can I borrow your nose? Like, <laughs> Barrios was looking bad. But, um, and prior to that, Mario Barrios was getting knocked out by Tank Davis. So many of us didn't know what to expect from Mario Barrios in his next offering at 147. However, the guy he was fighting tonight was coming up from 140 as well, fighting at welterweight, but probably shouldn't have been fighting right there at welterweight. Like he, oh my God, it was bad. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. I mean, it was bad. I, I mean, I felt bad for Barrios. Let me see if I got it. Here we go. Let me see. There we go. Take the screenshot. Look at Barrios before and after, man. Let me see. Let me share my screen. Hold on. Let me share my screen, yo. So let me share my screen so y'all know what I mean when I say these things. This is what Barrios looked like before and after last time he fought Keith Thurman. Okay, y'all can't see it. Let me take this off. Boom. Come on, man. Look at his face. His face. Can y'all see this? Can y'all can I zoom it in some more? Would it let me zoom in? There we go. Let me zoom in some more. Oh my goodness. Elephant man. So the last time I saw him, I didn't know what was gonna happen because on the left, he looks like a model on Telemundo or something. On the right, he looks like a Cleon in Star Trek. I ain't lying, put a case on it. All of this up here. Oh shit. My bad, dropped the mic. All of this up here has been rearranged. Nose shifted, pushed in, pushed up, eyes cut, busted up. I didn't know what I was going to spend from Mario Barrios tonight.
But damn it, man, my boy Mario Barrio said, I'm back, baby. Make some noise for Barrios. Oh, he did his thing. He did his thing. And I'm happy to see it. I ain't going to hold you. I'm so happy for Mario Barrios to get back in the winner's column. Now, granted, the guy he was fighting tonight was coming off a two-fight law street as well. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me give him a drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was about to. Had two of them L's on him. He, he took about two of them L's to the face. But he's back, though. He's back in the winner's circle. Um, I missed the post-fight press conference with Barrios. Did anybody hear um, what Barrios said he wanted to do next? Anybody say he want, wanted to do next? Uh, I don't know. I know he didn't take a lot of punishment tonight. He didn't take a lot of punishment. He stopped the guy in the eighth, I believe, um, or the ninth. So we get through those two fights and then ding, ding, ding. Oh, where my, where my little bell at? Where my bell at? Let me get into it. For y'all too. So then we get into a round. I'm sorry, the main event. Oh, Sharky Foster got two losses. He had, he had about two of them L's too. Against an undefeated champion, Vargas. Vargas is moving up from 26 to 30, for those who don't know. Now, those belts are vacant due to Shakur Stevenson, you know, moving up in weight. So now we're going into the 130-pound division. And I'm not going to lie, the odds was pretty close. Had a lot of... Uh, a lot of observers had Vargas saying he's going to pull this thing off. Just thought Oshaki Foster, the moment might be too big. He might crumble under the moment. The lights might be too bright. A lot of people didn't give him a chance. You know who gave him a chance? God did. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Dude. Shout out to Kelly. This is DJ Kelly. <laughs> but God did. Yeah, man, this kid went in there and pulled it off, man. She was, uh, and hearing him talk at the end, man, talking about his mom, because you know he lost his mom. Man, anybody who got a mama and you love your mama, shit can bring tears to your eyes. Seeing him and his father and his brothers, everybody over there just um, just so happy for him, man. It's hard not to root for a guy when you're fighting for something more than just money. So make some noise for Oshaki Foster. <laughs> changed his life. He changed his life in one night, man. His life will never be the same, man. Never be the same. You gotta call him a champion, man. Say it again. What up? What up? Makes me happy, man. I love to see dreams come true, man. I love to see dreams come true. J Trey said, God did. Right. <laughs> I need to make that a drop. Um, Food Revolution said he did a very good job. Absolutely. Um, oh shoot. Let me make sure I got my cash app on the screen just in case y'all want to help me out with a little weed money. Cause I'm broke. I need all your support. <laughs> um, Bruce Leaf said, uh, coach, I miss what he said. Um, Bruce Leaf in the building, what up? He said, uh, Lincoln Rowland, Lincoln Raleigh was Jalen Hurts' co coach as well. Okay, I didn't know that. It was a yeah, it was a coach, um, for the two uh broadcast main events. He coached two of those guys, he came out with all wins tonight. All wins, Toby Bartley, what up, Texas Rob, what up. Let me see what they're saying in the chat. Am I the only one to watch the fights? I don't even hear y'all even talking about them. Man, let me see what they're saying. She said, he looked like Picasso. Right. Let me show it again. Show it again, Martin Nash. There you go. No, no, no. That ain't it. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that's the last time we saw Barrios. He was looking like Elephant Man. And the funny thing is, he could have beat Keith Thurman. Knowing what we know now, Keith Thurman was like, I was tender to the body before I got touched. Yeah, he was tended to the body before he even got touched. Boston Scholar in the building. Nick Rich, what up, sis? Bruce Leaf said, um, yeah, I got the Eagle. Oh, you're talking about the Eagles playing tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who y'all got winning the uh, championship tomorrow? I don't know if I'm going to do a football uh, Super Bowl party type thing. I might do a post thing, maybe. Or I might do something after the half. But um, shoot, man, I got a doctor's appointment early Monday morning. I mean, early, early. So... I don't know what I'm going to be able to do on um, Sunday. Definitely don't even know. I got an early doctor's appointment. Got pre-op. Um, girl behind the mic, what's up? Um, Bruce Leaf, um, oh, talking about the Eagles winning. Okay. PGH, big dog, what up? What you think of the fights, fam? 
Okay, next she's talking about bowling. All right, I think I'm caught up. All right. But yeah, man, I thought the fight was amazing, amazing. Barrios made a damn good showing of itself. And I'm like I said, I'm just so happy to see Oshaki Foster go that go in there and change the narrative about his career. I mean, he had that shoulder roll popping, his legs were strong, distance, controlled the distance, he was controlling range. Um, the jab was snapping. He had that overhand right coming in, good jabs to the body, head movement. Caught Vargas with some clean shots in there. And based off what I saw tonight, I know some of y'all ain't going to like it, but I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I got to tell you the truth. Um, I got Osharky Foster beating um, the hell out of Navarrete. I think he's going to put on a boxing clinic. I think, it, and I'm going to be honest too, even in this fight right here, I thought his coach, now granted, they're going to say, Martinez, why you criticize him? He won. Hey, look, even in victory, people are going to have, start coming up game plans how to beat you. It was times in there, I thought he could have just kept doing what he was doing. His coach told him, um, start catching and shooting. Well, he called it catch and react, but he told him to catch and shoot. He's like, catch and shoot, but don't let him hit you. Don't let him hit you though, but catch and shoot. I was like, nah, don't catch and shoot. Just keep doing what you're doing right now. You... You beat him easy. You beating him easy. And once he started doing that right there, he, he gave Vargas a chance to catch him with some good shots. But um, he survived, man. He survived that joint. Oh, my God. I just thought he could have um just kept doing what he was doing. Philip A. said, good luck with the dot, uh, the Mar Martin Nash. Um, been there, done that. Yeah, yeah, man. I got to have surgery on Wednesday, y'all. Yeah, so don't look for no show on me on Wednesday. I got hand surgery Wednesday morning. Got to have hand surgery so I can get back in that ring on y'all boys. Mm -hmm. Long overdue. Long overdue. But I'm excited about it. Though. I'm excited about getting the surgery, getting it, getting, getting it done, getting into rehab, and getting back to work. QT, he said, Vargas ain't have no business at 130. Yeah, he had some business there. He had, it was a title. It was a title. He thought he was going to go there and get that vacant belt. He was like, man... Because a lot of times, look, boxing fans, even boxers, matchmakers, promoters, they look at records. They, You think you're fighting a guy who's record. You're not fighting his record. You're fighting the man. And that man, Oshaki Foster, would not be denied tonight. He was not going to be denied. Did you see how he picked up the pace in round 10, 11, and 12? Historically, those are the rounds where Vargas normally shines the best. But not tonight. Not tonight. He he just this kid just had too much, too much speed. The defense was tight. Oh my god, the defense. The defense of Oshaki Foster, the feet, the footwork, the speed, the counters. He was pressing and pushing back the taller, longer guy, pressing him, pushing him back. Vargas didn't like he had no legs. Now, granted, it was a cut in the third round. Man, that cut didn't have nothing to do with it. They said it was a head, but but whatever. Um, Full Revolution. She said, "I wish Shock would have used his power on Vargas when he caught him off balance and landed some uppercuts." Yeah, yeah. I ain't mad at that one. I ain't mad at that assessment at all. Philip H. Um said, he said, uh, "Shocky looked good. I thought he should have took more of a chance." For the knockout attempt. I thought he was. I thought he was pushing him on round 10, 11, and 12. I thought he was really pressing for it, big dog. That's me, though. Phone lines are open if you want to call in and voice your opinion. And I have the link out there if you want to pull up and tell me what you thought of the fight. 404-692-1766. 404-692-1766. i put you right in the mix. Let me see what he's saying. Philip H., he said, the counter right hand was there all night for him. Yeah. Great work, man. I mean, great work from Oshaki Foster. Great work. Great work, man. I don't know what the hell Vargas team was doing. They should have been told him, like, bro, you are losing this fight. You're losing. You're blowing it, kid. You're blowing it, kid. They should have told him. He was blowing it, man. I was like, what is he doing? Looking sloppy. Even the uh, even um, Oshaki Foster corner was like, when he started doing that goofy shit, he said, time him and catch him. 
Hey, Ray Morel, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, what's my man name? Uh, the damn commentator for the Showtime. He even quoted them. They was like, damn, you swear? You were swearing on air? He said, hey, look, I'm just quoting him. He, by goofy shit, he mean them loopy punches because, like, Vargas just didn't even seem like he was there. I don't know if he made weight properly or if he just ate a couple burritos and had a couple Coronas, respectfully, you know. I don't know what the hell he was doing, but that wasn't it, buddy. And I don't want to blame the weight and say, well, nah, it was the 130. It was the 130. Nah, man, this kid was just better, man. This kid is just was just a, a superior boxer. Um, okay, I read that one. You missed the body of fight? Shoot, it was a it was a it was a beating. He beat the hell out of Giovanni Santiago. And I like Giovanni Santiago. He's he was on the two fight losing streak too, so was Barrios, but he just um Barrios just was too big, too strong, too powerful. Barrios was backing him up. Barrios wasn't gonna be denied tonight. Um, I read that one. She said uh, I read that one too. Let me see. Uh J Trades, he said, uh, Navarrete is gonna get cooked by Valdez before he gets the chance. Navarrete is food at 130. Arm punches and volume ain't run, uh, ain't none special at 130. All right, put the case on it. He knocked that man out that last fight, though. He dug deep and got a knockout. Dug deep, got a knockout in his last fight. But I just don't think, like, he, he just too sloppy, man. And his defense is suspect. His defense is suspect, too sloppy, all that lunging. Man, he's going to be food for Foster. And I got Vark. I, th I think Valdez will stop him before. But um, I think he got to do a, uh, don't they got, then they both fight for a uh, vacant. So I think they, everybody got to do some, um, everybody got to do some, um, the mandatories. I think they got two mandatories before they can fight. Um, My boy Porto in the building. What up? What up? What up? Mike check. Mike check. What's good? Mike Biggs boxing. What up? Toby, what up? Jerry, what up? Reggie, what up? What you think of the fights, big dog? Uh, well, like uh, the the uh, Perry, uh, Perro or Perrier, I forgot. Man, that one was crazy. You know, I thought it was getting, I thought it was getting pretty uh, beat up pretty good. But you know, he came back. You know, landed a good body shot. You know, ended the fight. He's boxing. You know, so I mean, I, you know, like it was a good fight though. Uh, um, I enjoyed the first fight. The Barrios fight, I was kind of in and out. Um, but uh, I heard he stopped him in the eighth. I missed like the last two rounds because um, I was at a like a wake type thing. And then the, the, the Shaggy Foster and Vargas fight. I, I, I mean, personally, I thought it was very, 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 uh, close fight. What? Uh, I didn't, I didn't think the one Oh nine, one nineteen one Oh nine. I, I, I didn't think that was a good card, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, the fuck they're the judges, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the fight again, but I actually thought it was a, a close fight. Uh, I wasn't mad at the decision. Um, you know, but I thought I was, I thought it was entertaining to be honest. Y'all niggas worship him. You lying, bro. Please tell me you didn't think that was a close fight. Foster was uh, flogging him. When do I ever lie? Shit. He lied. Right now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, y'all disagree with me all the time, but I never lie. <clears throat> what you scored? I, um, fuck, bro. Like, like, uh, I you remember I always say, bro. Like, I'm pretty consistent with it. I, it's hard for me to score the fight. You know. Um. Yeah. I mean, if I wanted to, I, I guess off the top of my head, maybe six rounds to four, or is that even a scorecard? I don't know. That's like a. That's ten rounds. That's like a ten. That's ten rounds, right? I don't mm. know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, I would say maybe I'll shake you by a couple rounds. You know, you know, fucking maybe, maybe closer. I don't know. You think so? You think? I have to watch it again. I have to watch it again. When you say a couple rounds, that means you think, hey, it could have went either way. I mean, like, I, I definitely think because, like, uh, um, because I, I guess, um, land the uh, Oshaki landed the more telling blows. Like, like, yeah, like you could see it on his face. Clean. Like, like, it, like, like, what could say? Like, uh, you could lean, uh, uh, like, you could say that, that, yeah, you know, like, yeah, you can go, uh, Oshaki, it was not a bad, a bad decision. But the thing is, I, I think, I thought, uh, um, Vargas was doing a very good body work. And, you know, and those, those punches count, you know, and, um, you know, it, it's, um, you know, I have to, I have to score to, to, to be honest, but I, I'm not mad at the decision. All right. Let me go to Jerry in Baltimore. Jerry in Baltimore, talk to me. What you think of the fight? What's up, Mark? Um, yeah, good fight. Foster, he looked good. He, 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 uh, he I agree with you. He just wasn't, he, he, he wasn't fixing to be denied tonight. You could see it in his eye. He, he knew, you know, significant that the, that's a life altering event of winning that world title. Yeah. And he just wasn't going to be denied. He, he was, he was sharp. He was, uh, defense was on point. 
right from the first round, you know, and you see his opponent had advantages, man. He had a nice height advantage. They say the reach was about the same, but, I mean, the guy's got long arms, and typically you tell a fighter like that to stay, you know, fight from the outside, but I would have told, I would have told, uh, what's his name, um, his opponent, I forgot his name, that quick. Foster? I, I would have told him, but, uh, not Foster, the, the Vargas? guy. Vargas? Uh, Var- yeah, I, I would have told him if I was in his corner, I would have told him, look, man, you got to try to get this guy up against the ropes. You got to try to pin him in the corner, and you got to get in his chest because he's boxing the fucking ears off of you from the side of the middle of the ring. You're not going to beat him there. He's too quick. He's too sharp. His, his shoulder roll defense was on point, and he's just going to outbox the shit out of you. So win, lose, or draw, your best chance is to try to fight and, and try to pin him. I don't, I don't know if that would have made much of a difference. I don't know if that would have made a difference for him, but to me, there was no way he was going to win that fight like that. I had seen Foster before, but I've seen him in one of his losses. And uh, and I thought, man, my, I remember he was like a very solid 130 pound fighter, uh, but he kind of he kind of froze up a little bit. So tonight, he deserves his flowers, man. He sees the moment, and now he's world champ. So congratulations to him. I do think that uh, Navarrete will put up a better fight, but I think he beats him also. And it's a, it's a deep division, so, you know, there's plenty of good fights to be made there for uh, for the young champ. And uh, and that's what's good about – the only thing good for me about titles is when they get separated because that's a better opportunity for the top fighters to face each other because when one guy has them all, a lot of times you don't get none of the fights. Okay. I appreciate it. Shout yeah. out to Jerry. And then also, I did want to say the heavyweight, the heavyweight fight on the card. That was a peculiar ending to that fight. I don't know what happened there. I mean, uh, that the big Russian dude looked to me like he was winning the fight. For a big guy, he didn't have much punch power, but it just looked like he was winning the fight. And it's the second time I've seen that Cuban guy kind of get fights where he just, I don't know, man, he really didn't look that good to me. And uh, but he wound up getting a victory under odd circumstances. And tonight, I don't know. I mean, it was a little body shot there that landed on that landed. I mean, did you see that fight? Oh yeah. yeah oh, as soon as that, what hey, look, as soon as that happened, I called my boy Puto. I was like, Puto, please tell me you're watching these fights. Um, I had um, I had Foss winning that fight. I thought um, I thought um, Pedro was waiting too long. He was just waiting to counter, but. He finally caught that man on the. He caught him on the. Caught him with a right hand to the body, on the left side. Then hit him up top with the left, and then as soon as he did it, my boy Foster just turned his back and was like, 15, 20, 25, 38, 45, 47. I was like, bro, what are you counting? What are you looking at over there? I mean, he forgot he was in a fight. I don't know what happened. Ain't no standing eight count, bro. Ain't no standing eight count. You know, and, and that's why uh, it's very hard to tell in boxing. And I, I remind myself all the time that body shot that he landed kind of like grazed him. But you see, that guy had that type of rib cage where like his rib kind of stuck out a little bit right there, right where he caught him. His rib bone w- protruded a little bit, and uh, man, it didn't look like nothing to me. Big, big, strong guy like that. But that just goes to show, man. You know, unless you're getting hit with him. Looks don't matter, you know. I mean, that that punch stopped him in his tracks. The punches that landed afterwards, he just, I don't know. They, I don't blame uh, his opponent because that's he did his job. He's supposed to keep punching there. But uh, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of hard. Overall, pretty good card too. And lastly, I'll say this for everybody that keeps trying to bury Showtime and and the PBC. If you look at it, man, they're putting on more cards than anybody. Really. Ain't been a whole lot of big fights, but ain't nobody else really making any real big fights neither. So until I hear otherwise, Showtime is is doing you know, and the PBC is doing what they're doing. Oh, Here, we Here we go. Here we go. I'm just saying, man. They, man, they put on more fight cards than anybody. More than ESPN. I mean, from what I can see, I haven't seen an ESPN card in a minute. I, I do give ESPN props. Though, the Navarrete card we just fight. saw was an ESPN card. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Well, what was that last weekend? Yeah, same division. Just a week ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. But what I'm just saying, I mean, for people, every time I get on YouTube, people are burying Showtime. And I'm like, yeah, but I mean, they keep putting on cars. I mean, you know, I, I mean, until I hear from someone way up in the, in the executive level there, you know, it may be some restructuring that they're doing. That's that's kind of typical. Uh, but I don't see no signs of them, you know, not being involved in boxing. One I can see, and that goes for the PBC too. You know, just some restructuring going on. I think. Anyway, that's all I got, bro. Uh, oh, did you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you see Mario Barrios? Um, get I back did in. See Barrios. Yeah, he fought on the co-main event. He got back in the winner circle. Beat the dog, mm -hmm. dog crap out of Giovanni Santiago. They both was coming off two, uh, two, two loss, uh, losing streak, and yeah, he Barrios stopped him in the eighth. I seen that. that. That was a pretty good scrap while it lasted. Um, his opponent showed a lot of heart. I don't know really what to make of Barrios. I don't know about he, a good scrap. A that kid got his ass beat like the whole time. They should have stopped that like in round five. I don't know why they kept yeah. him back out there. He was trying. I mean, he was he was trying. He showed a lot of heart. He was holding. Uh, Barrios. He was holding. Was too strong. He just kept holding. Yeah, well, that's what you do sometimes when your opponent's too strong for you, right? Try to try to do what you can do to keep yourself in the fight. Um, Barrios are too strong for him, but for me, Barrios, I've always known that he can beat he can beat C and B guys in one forty and one forty seven. But what can he do against the top guys? And I don't think he can beat any of the top guys. I don't think he can beat Ortiz, Boots Ennis, certainly not Spence or Crawford. Uh, I just don't know really what's in store for him at 147 uh, against the top guys. He, can, you know, he looked pretty good tonight against that guy, but you know, I, right. I, I don't know what what's there for him. You know, after that, but we'll see. All right. But I did hear I did hear today also that the uh, Ryan uh, Tank fight they got that sorted out. Have you heard that? I, I ain't even covering it until I get more, man. Like. Then I saw Canelo deal is being finalized. I'm like, I'm not covering no more of those being finalized type stories. <laughs> like, or hey, it's uh, man, when I when I see them on stage during the press conference, that's when you know, that's when I'm gonna say. But even then, shit, somebody could get injured, get anything could happen. So that's smart, brother. All, All right, well, have just, a good night, buddy. My brother, salute, salute. Shout out to Jerry right. from Baltimore. All right, Pearl, you ain't off the hook yet with your bad. What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah, I was going to respond to a couple of comments. I was going to say, Philip H., you know, we, we, yeah, it's, 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 agree to disagree. It's all good, brother. You know, it's just a, it's just a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, you know, difference of opinion. And Reggie, stay mad, bro. Go cry in the car, bro. You told him to cry in the car. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, <laughs> you know, but, but especially it's still not happening, bro. So, you know, you know that one can, you know, what, what, tear jerker, too. <laughs> what about my boy Zeke the Sneak? He said Foster didn't do shit. Typical awful back foot doing nothing fighter on uh, fighter on uh, fighter and fight. I I disagree. I saw him pushing Vargas back several times, and I he think did, that's but Vargas did as well first. early too. You know, yeah, but that was when um Foster uh, Foster was southpaw was once, once Foster switched from southpaw to conventional. That was a wrap. He never did that though. What you mean? He stayed he stayed he stayed conventional the whole fight. No no no. At first round round one he was southpaw. Are you sure? I'll have to look back it back, but I'm gonna take your word for it, Mark. Yeah, round one he was southpaw. I think that was the story that the commentators kept saying later on in the fight. They was like, yeah, I, that's, "That's what I heard about the commentators say as well." Because I couldn't mute it without like fucking, you know, because I was on my phone. But uh, um, you know, like yeah, I mean, like I said, Mark, I trust you. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I just know, man, that kid um was walking um, especially that last round, walking Vargas down. He was walking him down. Vargas looked like he was just ready to go home. Well, I mean, towards the end of the fight, he got really tired, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, he tried, you know, uh, you know, to fucking, uh, you know, he's not a power puncher, too. So I was like thinking like, fuck, man, you know, like, like, um, you know, it's very close, like, like maybe a knockdown, you know, like, a, you know, you know, sway to to him or whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, what? you know, he was tired. He's not known for power. Hold up. Zeke the sneak. Zeke the sneak. Come on, bro. You thought Ray Vargas won. That? Zeke, you got to call in. What the phone? Let me put the phone number back. Zeke, you got to call in. My brother, Zeke, you know, I got love and respect for you, but my man, I got to put a case on you.
I need you to call in and make your case. I got to put a case on you. Vargas won the fight. He said, albeit close with the body punching, Foster literally did nothing for rounds at the end. What? What? Never heard of it. Bro, let me get you the drop. Small hat. Uh-uh. It never heard of it. Man, he beat up. He beat Vargas up, man. He beat Vargas up. I'm sorry. He, I mean, I thought he was winning and could have took the last round off and just stayed out the way, man. He was pressing him. Uh, coming forward, shoulder roll, bang, shoulder roll, jabbing, jabbing. You know, it was times where the referee j- broke him up and he would take the little shuffle step, the little jog, they get back close to him, Porto. He wanted that. You think this Vargas? kind of like. What? I'm sorry, go ahead. I think Zeke is Mexican. I'm sorry, respectfully. And, I, you know, I got love for all my Mexican brothers and sisters. Well, it got to be a Mexican thing, bro. Like, we root for these guys to play, bro. <laughs> like, they win, that's it. If they lose, they lose. They lose. <laughs> I ain't talking about you, bro, though. I'm just saying, where's Vargas? Well, like, most, most Mexicans, well, I mean, most Mexicans that I know. Yeah, I think he from, he from man, he got to be from his hometown. Or maybe he they was born on the same day. You know what I'm saying? They got the same birthday or something. <laughs> Maybe he christened, you know, he christened this kid or sung at the wedding. But you got to have some personal stake in here to think Ray Vargas won this fight. I mean, uh, uh, m- maybe it's the internet mark and he's, you know, like getting you more viewers, you know, because he goes, he you me. get to say, never heard of it. Oh, yeah, he trolling me. So this your ghost account typing that to me right now. You you are, <laughs> you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, That's the second time this week I've been accused of, of being somebody I ain't, but it's all good. Lisa Bell said he definitely won. Shout out to my boy JJ. He said salute to y'all. No salute to you, sir. Welcome home. Um, Lisa Bell said Foster should have went to the body more. Um, speaking of the body, I was looking at these punch stats from that heavyweight fight. I believe that number was 53 to 9 to the body. He stopped that Man, guy that's... with that body shot, but 53 to 9. That was telling when you stop a guy to the body. You're like, damn, it was 53 of them things. That's probably why, you know? Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, and the despair, the, 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 what's it called? The, the, the discrepancy in between, or the disparate, no, discrepancy, not. A, how do you say that word? You know, when it's like vast, like, you know, like very low to very high. Is it disparate, dis- disparity? I don't know. But, anyways, yeah, yeah. Like only nine to the, like uh, 50 something or other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy Zeke, the freak. I'm sorry, Zeke, the sneak said, truth is, let me do a voice for Zeke until I get him. <clears throat> truth is, it was an awful, uneventful, dirty fight with Shocky headbutting, holding, and pushing Vargas down as much as he could. It never heard of it. That mark, like, and y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna say anything? I mean, that I agree with, though. Uh, it was one uh, headbutt. The, and that pushing was... down, the pushing down, and there was also an elbow. You know, I, I mean, like, is it blatant? Is it not? I don't know. You know, it's kind of like, we could argue, like, the, the what's it called? The guy, uh, Eubank and, uh, and, and Beefy. Or whatever, but yeah, um, you know, I like the. Um, I actually thought the ref did an excellent job because every time like Oshaki did it, like he told him not, like he, like he would correct him and, and tell him to stop doing it. At the end of the day, he kept on doing it, you know. So, uh, you know, we can argue to the cows come home if that made a difference in the fight, you know. At the end of the day, I mean, shit, it ain't gonna change the outcome, bro. Oh man, I'm sorry, bro. Stuff like that gonna happen in fights. It's gonna get a little rough. And I also thought saw, saw Vargas throw an elbow. Well, then there it is. There it is. You get what I'm saying. So what's good for the goose is get good for the gander. And um, yeah. but, but hey, yeah, well, what, if you ever have a conspiracy theory um episode, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little conspiracy about this uh about this fight that I like. Uh, I thought about it really quickly, and I'm like, nah. But I'm like, oh. But anyways, what, hold on, hold on. What, what, let me let me hear this bullshit. Go ahead. What bullshit? You said you got a conspiracy theory. Let me hear. Oh yeah, no, no. It's just like um the the um, when he landed the headbutt that opened up the cut in the eye. Round you know? two. Uh, and, and I agree with you. I think it was like like the only headbutt, you know, because like the cut didn't get any worse or whatever. But um then the 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 cut man did a really good job. But anyways, after that fight, they're talking or whatever, and the the guy that's kind of like at his end with this cap, he's like to the side of him. He tells him something like, "Yeah, yeah, keep do- uh, keep giving him like that," and then he like motions his head like a like like a headbutt motion, you know, and like literally like, uh, um, they were talking about the headbutt while while that was happening. So I was just like, 
Okay, yeah, I think I think I just tripped it, but I then I was like, oh, okay, you know. But he didn't land any more headbutts, so I kind of forgot about it. But you brought it up. I mean, the the guy brought it up. So I was like, are you kidding me, man? Puto, Puto, please tell me you're joking right now. Hold up, man. Let me give you. Let I me mean, I'm semi this... joking, no, but like no, no, I said, no, like, like literally, I'm like it's just like too, too convenient, bro. But that's ah, what... I want to hear that. I said they're about conspiracies, like literally, like yeah, they're kind of plausible, but I kind of don't really don't believe in them. Puto, tell me this shit just fell that's out your pocket. Not, bro, bro, I can show you the clip. Tell me this shit fell out your pocket, man. No, no, I, I swear to, I swear, bro, I swear to God, like literally, it wasn't like uh, it's totally in passing. I'm like, can I see what he just saw? I'm like, nah, I'm tripping. <laughs> so you think his corner told him to do more illegal things, Pluto? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're trying to tell? Well, I mean, like it, it appears so, but like in uh, in uh, what you would call it in uh, Foster's defense, he wasn't looking while 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 uh, while he made that head gesture, you know. Like, but like I said, you know, like fucking internet is funny and shit. Like they make you think like when a uh, accidental whatever headbutt lands, you're like, this motherfucker doing it on purpose. You know, you get what I'm saying? That, that's that's the point. I'm... I can't believe you, bro. I can't believe well, you. <laughs> well, I can't. Well, believe I, I, hey, bro, this is like like I said, it's like um, we, I I can say that um. Like he deliberately cheated, and they're like they should he, they should protest. Ain't eh? I think I'm making a little difference, bro? Yeah, just add a little comedy. So all these bruises and knots and lumps on his face came from illegal blows. I mean, so, uh, somebody could argue that, bro. With like the little story I gave him, and I'm pretty sure that they will. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. But no, no, no. Obviously, the the there was just only one headbutt that I could see. Okay, phone lines are open, man. Four zero four six nine two seventeen sixty six. 404-692-1766. Damn, man. Yo, man, no disrespect to Zeke the Sneak or you, Porto, but this was wrong with the boxing game right here, bro. You have yeah. a good night. Of, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell okay. you. I'm not, I'm not speculating. I'm not speculating. Sure. I have the information. I'm not speculating. <laughs> this is what's wrong. You have a what's good that? night of boxing. You get a knockout in the uh, first fight. You get a knock on. Uh, you get a, uh, and it's a heavyweight fight. You get a stoppage there. You get a stoppage in your co-main. Then you get in here and you get a very good back and forth fight. I got a guy, undefeated champion, going up in weight trying to dare to be great. He going against a guy who's getting his first shot at a title with two losses. The storyline is there for upset, but you're not really seeing, you don't know what's going to happen. Then you get a guy going there, dares to be great, shocks the world, and then we get people in the Chad saying oh, it was a robbery. It was a dirty fight. He cheated. Um, the coroner told him to do more headbutts. If so, he didn't do it. It was an accidental mm -hmm. cut. And that cut didn't bother this guy. He wasn't blood, wasn't going to his eye all night. Come I on. did mention a good job by the corner. Yeah, yeah. But I, I would say to you, Mark, uh, welcome to boxing, bro. Cause like literally, like, there's tons of fighters that like, like literally like they cry like people people say ridiculous things, bro, because they can't handle the a loss, bro. I, mean, I can handle the loss, bro. I mean, just trying to stir the pot. I'm trying to get you more beers, bro. You, know, you should thank me. I need to... Th <laughs> okay. You said I need to thank you for my viewership because of what, now? <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Really? I was, serious. I was serious about the first part, bro. Like, literally, like, um, you know, it is what it is, bro. People are crazy. So if you won't know here on this bull crap right now, nobody will be watching. So we got to thank you for all the viewership. No, I, I said I, I, not for all the viewership. I'm just saying for the, you know, because I'm pretty sure in the chat everybody's like, ah, put all this, put all that, put all this, put all that. And I bet you, you're, look at your viewership count, bro. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up, little by little. Because of you saying bullshit. That's what you're saying. Yeah, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're trolling. Okay. You know, like, it's like my first, you know, like, you know, I really don't normally do this, but, you know, I don't know. I felt like having a little bit of. All right. Okay. Um, he was orthodox the whole fight. The commentary was surprised. Shocky never switched just to Southpaw. Okay. Um, Shockey was blocking that attack very well from Vargas. Yep, with the shoulder. I agree. I agree. The Shockey maintained was... distance and paced the fight well. Um, and he looked full of energy after the fight, too. Um, Texas Rob said all races cap for their race at times. <laughs> speak for yourself, bro. Yeah, yeah, speak for yourself. Yeah, he can't even speak for all races, he only won. Huh? Right? He's a human race. Human race. There you go. Um, Zeke the Sneak said, um, nah, it's it's a who comes to fight. It's a who comes to fight type thing. Foster was backing him up. He said, off 
Foster's an awful do nothing fighter. Vargas let his hands go while Foster was watching. That ain't even what the punch that say with the throne or landed. I don't know what you're talking about, Zeke the Sneak. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Phone lines are open. Link is out there if you want to join the conversation. Tell me what you thought of the fight. But nah, I, I ain't going with no robbery, bro. I can't go with the robbery. Even Vargas said, hey, man, maybe 126 is for me. He said, I didn't feel like I had my legs. Um, Alden Johnson, he said he pushed Vargas back a few times. He also caught Vargas with a clean right hand that stunned his ass, and Vargas held on ASAP. Um, that right hand was tagging Vargas all night. Shockey won this fight by four rounds. Hey, if Vargas said that, bro, I mean, like, shit, you can't go against the fighter, right? That's what was being in the fight. Fair enough. Lisa Bell, talk to me, sis. Yeah, what's going on, Mark? How you doing, my sister? What's good? What you think of the fights tonight? I'm chilling. Oh, the fight was really good. Um, me personally, I think that um, Oshaki was really doing really good. You know, he was doing his thing. He was stunting on Vargas. But I think, like, like the second part of the fight, he kind of took his foot off the gas in certain spots. And um, I thought he did really good. I believe, you know, I know that he won the fight. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Vargas, his balance was really bad. And there was times where I could see that he could have got him out, but he just didn't put his foot on the gas. And like, didn't, didn't you show the stats or whatever? Like he didn't really put a lot of body work in very minimal. Now that's the one thing that Vargas was doing. But, um, like when I was looking at the defense, like, cause I was watching it with Reggie and him. And, um, like, I was uh, looking at how he was moving his head, like, just that little half an inch, that margin of error. You know, like, he was just moving back. He was doing subtle things, but you could see it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought he did really good. Like, I was like, look at him looking like a like an almost little baby Mayweather. Like, not baby, you know what I mean. I'm I just know what you mean. exaggerating, but... He was catching stuff, you know, on his gloves and, you know, um, he was, I was really impressed with the young man not seeing a lot of improvement because I've known him for a while. So, um, you know, Ray Vargas, uh, he just uh, doesn't have the footwork, you know what I mean? And he just, uh, I felt his balance was really bad. You know, you seen how many times he was on the floor? But some of that was knocked that, that, down. But old boy was pushing him too. Like huh? he would go down and bend over, and you know, uh, Foster would put a little weight on him, and he would just go and drop down. Like he shouldn't be falling with yeah. just that little. Even the commentators His legs were saying was that. Weak. Yeah, right. But that's from weak legs. Yeah. Mm. So he got to get that because I could see that his legs was, you know, yeah, you know. But this is what. But that's where the rest. You know, when the ref was coming in or whatever and saying stuff, but, you know, this is what fighters do, you know, especially the big men. You know they do that. Mm. You know, so I thought it was a, uh, you know, you know, good fight. Uh, I just thought, I just had a feeling like this gut feeling that it was Oshaki's time, you know. I just had that gut feeling. Yeah, so, he wanted that you know. Know. Yeah, he did um, what he had to do, but there's still things that he has to work on. Both boxers, you know. But uh, congratulations to the young man, and um, you know Ray Rockets as well. Um, you know he can come back and improve on some things that you know. You think he need to come? You think you need to come legs. back? You think he need to come back to 130 or go back to 126 where he's a champion at? Uh. Well, if he's going to stay at 130, he's going to have to build himself up more. You know, build his legs up more. His legs are small. And um, just get a little bit more weight on him. And, um, you know, just work on some stuff. He's awkward. Ray Vargas is very awkward. And he kind of, is, is Ray Vargas work on a piston jab? He's long. Like, does he work on his jab and make that thing better? Just work on some stuff. He, yeah, he's too bad as it. Overall, was a piece you sound of my, low. Uh, you sound muffled, Lisa. Boxing. Say it again. Oh, I'm sorry. 
overnight, overall, it was a decent night of boxing. Okay. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Huh? Yeah, I heard you. you said overall yeah. it was a good night of boxing. Yeah. So I'm going to let you go. Take care of your phone calls. I'll be in the um, chat. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for calling in. All right. Peace, peace. You're welcome. All right. Shout out Lisa Bell. Good call. What up? Appreciate it. Also, let me give a shout out to Kiki and the Cash App. Shout out to Kiki for supporting the show with the Cash App. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Kiki. I needed that. Really appreciate it. And if you want to show, send a Cash App, you can send a Cash App at the bottom of the screen. It's dollar sign Mark Nash, M A R Q N A S H. So thank you again for supporting the show in a major way. Let me see what they're saying in the chat, Zap. And the phone lines are back open, 404-692-1766, 404-692-1766. Call in, I'll put you right in the mix. Somebody said, no, he wasn't, Mark. Um, Mark Vargas was on the back foot. No, he wasn't, Mark. Yeah, I saw him on the back foot as well. I didn't see him really pushing the, pushing the issue like that. I was actually disappointed. Disappointed in Vargas' uh, lack of activity because I expect him to let his hands go a little more. According to the punch stacks, he only landed 19% of his punches and 12% of his jabs, according to CompuBox. Foster, I landed him 144 to 101. Power shots was 87 to 66. Yeah, I mean, Foster won in every statistical category, man. I don't know what we're talking about here. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know what we're talking about here. About a robbery. Shout out to my good brother, Matty Yoel. Thanks for uh, donating to the show via the Super Chisel. Let me give him the drop. A tan, a tan, a tan, a f***ing tan. Appreciate you, Maddie. He said, uh, let me see what boom. Yeah, I, I don't see it. I, I just don't see what y'all was talking about. Somebody, somebody confused watching the show now. It's like, Mark, was it a robbery? Hell no, nah, I want no robbery, bro. Suge Knight Cigar, Clo furthest thing from a robbery. Shout out to my boy Suge, RN RNT Entertainment, a.k.a. Um, DJ Drama. Reggie said, I told y'all put on full of shit. Uh, Buys a conversation with Randy Olsen. Y'all related? He says, uh, homie on the panel, crazy. Shock one, absolutely. Put on, gotta fix them hoes. What up? Yeah, you gotta fix them hoes. But he gotta fix these hoes. Good dude, good dude. Good dude in real life, but as far as boxing. But he got to fix these holes. <laughs> um, Salvador, what up? He said, Foster impressed me a lot. I thought Vargas would walk him down and finish him. Bro, I thought Foster, bro, I thought uh, uh, Vargas was going to do way better than that. Halfway through the fight, I was like. <laughs> it was like, where that though? Where is it at? He... <laughs> I don't know if the translation was improper or what, but I, I was like, when is this corner going to tell him, bro, you're losing it, kid. You're blowing this fight. You got to step it up. Put your foot on the gas. Um, I never heard it. Shit. It never heard of it. Corner never told him he was losing. Like, bro, you blowing it. I think he probably told him in the 12th round. I hate when corners tell guys in the 12th round, final round, you need to knock him out. I'm like, what you think he been doing all night? Think he just been in there just playing around, dancing? Man, he was trying to stop him. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see where we at. Let me see where we at with the view count and the lights. Did y'all hit the like button? Oh, hell no. This show over. We got 102 votes, only 37 likes. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'm, I'd rather do some YouTube shorts than sit up here and talk to y'all for hours and hours and hours. And y'all won't even hit the like button for your old boy. But y'all hit that survey. 102 of those. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Let me see what they're saying. And I'm going to close this one on now. He said, put o, uh, putting the case on old Shockey, right? Zeke said, Navarrete and better Beterbi if these guys are not. Uh, I think I think Oshaki Foster is way more skilled than Navarrete. Navarrete got, yeah, can he pop? Does he got some crack? Hell yeah. Does he, is he sloppy as hell? Do we leave himself open for counters? Yep. Some people just born naturally heavy-handed. Some people, yeah, they just naturally heavy-handed and they hit hard. 
that's just the way it goes. But that don't mean um, I don't know, bro. I like good boxing. This was good boxing, good back and forth. Skill, a lot of skill, a lot of skill going on in here. The way he would make the guy miss by inches, taking a half a step back. So you want the guy to stand there and let him hit him in the face. Stand there and let him hit you in your face. Block the punches with your face. Shit, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Nah, man. It's a good fight. Let me see what he's saying. Shout out again. Shout out to Matty Yoel. Thanks again, bro, for supporting the show in a major way. I know you hit the like button. <laughs> Appreciate it, big dog. A tan. A tan. A tan. A fing tan. Mm-mm. Let me see. Uh, now, nah, Lisa, you good? I'm going to just end this shit and do a members only live. That's how I do it. I ain't got to hit the like button. I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to just do a live for the members. Let me see. Let me see. Anything else? Anything else we need to talk about? 100 people watching. Can't get 100 likes. Can't even get 50 likes. Got 100 votes. Man, I'm out of here. Um, Pudo, he said, it's okay, Reggie Bud versus EJ is an exhibition in 2040, and it will be the greatest fight in recorded history. Damn. Small hats. Mm-hmm. Pudo said he'll be right back. I'll probably be on members only. Full Revolution State, it wasn't even close, let alone a robbery. Right. Small hats. I don't know what they talking about, a uh, robbery. We don't believe you. You need more people. Not a robbery, bro. Y'all niggas worship him. Um, right. She said, right. I was like, where that? <laughs> Come on, fam. Rod of the Storm. What up, bro, bro? Lisa Bell, she said, he saw everything coming. Yeah, his defense was impeccable, man. And then at the end, you see how he was just running towards the guy? He was trying to he was trying to press him. I think he could if he would have pressed him earlier. I'm with y'all. He probably could have stopped him, or the referee would have came in and stopped it. He would have pressed him a little earlier. Yeah, he definitely could have got more things done. But um, but what I know, you know, everybody see the fight different when you sitting at home watching it on your couch. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. All right. But like I was saying, man, this was a damn good fight, man. Uh, the whole card, I've really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Had a fight, had good fights last week on Friday and Saturday. ESPN put on a good card on Friday, or a decent card on Friday. Then we had the ladies for Undisputed on Saturday. Here we are this weekend with Showtime. Double back like a Campbell. Hit us with some good cards today. So, yeah, man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited about the future of the sport this year. She said the scorecards won't even close. Right, it was a whitewash. Unanimous, <laughs> unanimous. Now I will say one of those those scorecards for the was it the Barrios fight? Was it the Pedro fight? Pedro, I think it was Pedro versus Foss. One of them judges had Pedro winning and only gave Foss two rounds. I don't know what they was watching. Got to put a case on that. I'm like, bro, what was you watching? Cause he sure was winning that fight. False. I had false winning that fight easy until he got uh stopped. Rod of the storm said after the fight, Vargas said he probably going right. Yeah, I, I discussed that. Yeah, I definitely uh said that. Yeah, I think I think I think he should. I think he should. He's a champ. And you know what? Maybe, just maybe. Now this is me speculating. So put a case on me. Is it possible? Is it is it possible, gang? Let me ask y'all this. Is it possible he didn't have that same urgency to win because he knows win, lose, or draw, I'm still a champion at 126, and I'm going to go back and defend my title? So is that possible? That is that why he just seemed like he just just wasn't there? Could have been that four pounds, that four pounds, and maybe he didn't gain that four pounds the right way with muscle. He just gained it, you know, just, just ate, got to eat a little bit more. Just did everything he normally do. Just just ate a little bit more. Drunk a little more fluids. But 126 to 130, damn, man, it was a big difference for Vargas, man. He looked like a different guy in there. And yeah, of course, Barrios did do his thing. Yeah, it was a decent fight, man. It was a decent fight. All right. All right, well, that's it for me, man. I'm done. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this show. 
Hope y'all enjoyed the show. I think I'm going to be done after this. I ain't got nothing up. I don't talk about everything I want to talk about in an hour. Shot my load. <laughs> I could have spaced it out, talked about one fight for 20 minutes, the next fight for 30 minutes, talked about the last fight for an hour. But, shoot, this was good, man. I said all I had to say. Plus, these aren't big, big names like that. I don't think a lot of people, um, unless you're a hardcore fan, you even watch this fight tonight. And we complain about fights not being free. We don't get enough free fights. You got a good free fight tonight, and it was for a title. And nobody cares, unfortunately. Uh, other than hardcore fans. Hardcore fans watched it. What he said? He said, uh, Vargas from beginning could see that his punches weren't affected. Man, want, man, they weren't effective. Uh, they weren't effective. No, they weren't effective at all. He wasn't touching on them. Um, yo, that jump was crazy. That jump was crazy. Um, Do said, she said, "Hey Vargas, still boxing. Uh, hey Vargas, still of boxing. Do sloppy. Hold up, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got to put a case on this one. Hey Vargas, still of boxing. Do sloppy. Hey Vargas, still of boxing. So sloppy." Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, he was boxing. He was boxing kind of sloppy. Yo, even the corner was like, yo, he keep doing that goofy shit. <laughs> he said, every time you do that goofy shit, catch him. He said, are we under alien invasion, Mark Nash? Yo, they shot. They just shot something down over Canada again, dude. Ain't that crazy? So they shot something down over Canada. They shot down the spy balloon. Shot something down over Alaska. And then today I heard they shot down something over Canada. Canada is going to be in charge of recovering what was shot down. Yo, that's blowing my mind. Um, Food Revolution said it was only free if you have cable. Um, not with the app. Well, I got the app. I got the app. I don't have cable. I got um, I got YouTube cable, and um, I have the Showtime app. So I don't have cable. So I guess you have to. Yeah, I get it. It's only free if you have Showtime. There you go. You gotta have Showtime. But the app is working though. The app, uh, not with the app. So I was riding. In the so in the stolo to, to to tonight. Nah, it was on the app. I got the app right here on my phone. I promise, I got the app on my phone. I was watching it on my phone. But if you don't have Showtime, by the way, if you don't have Showtime, Showtime is offering a thirty day free trial, y'all. So, and I think they got a couple more fights coming up. So within those thirty days, I think they got another fight coming up within thirty days. So get that free app on Showtime, or you can put type in. I think the code was Paramount twenty three. If you got Paramount Plus and you'll get Showtime for free over there for 30 days. So, yeah, they're giving away Showtime for free for 30 days. I'll take advantage of it. I was like, shit, I'm about to save me save me a month of payment. I'm going to cancel mine, sign up for the free one. Shit, I don't give a damn. Um, they shot down. Yeah, they shot. Yeah, they shot down one. Yep, one in Alaska and one in Canada, bro. Well, so, yeah, that's crazy. It's, that's crazy. All right. Like I said, man, I'm good, man. I'm good. I ain't going to beg y'all hit the like button all night. I got 109 votes. So I know people are here. They active and they could have clicked the like button. They chose not to. I know a lot of y'all like to hate watch my show, too. And you know who you are. I know who you are, too. Because I hear y'all saying my shit on your show. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> hear y'all biting my shit on your show. Deuce said he nervous. Man, you better not be nervous. You, you're a West Coast gangster, nigga. OG. Shoot the aliens with the strap. Get the strap for the aliens. Don't be scared of the aliens. You got it, Deuce. All right, look, I'm going to end this one. I do a members only live for the uh, for the members for supporting the show. Let me do this. I think I got one more cash out. Who was this? Shout you out. Jay. I don't know. Jay, Sav Jay Savion? Is this Jay Savion? Jay Savion, thank you for the cash out, bro. Jay Savion. Appreciate you. Jay Savion. Thanks for the cash out, fam. All right, let me do a neighbor's only roll call. He said, how am I supposed to go against that, man? You don't know what them aliens got or what they don't got, but they, they maybe can't take a bullet to the head. So you might still be winning, Deuce. Who knows? I don't know. Food Revolution said, I only have the app on my smart TV and Fire Stick, and I couldn't watch it on either. Really? 
You couldn't watch the fight on your Showtime app? Damn, that's weird. Like, on my app, I get a choice to watch East Coast or West Coast. So, yeah, I was watching the fight on the app. Damn, I didn't even know that. She said she couldn't even watch the fight. Food Revolution, I didn't know that. You couldn't hit me up next time. I'll, I'll put it on the members only. And you can watch it over there. You heard? So, I'll hit you up on, uh, hit me up next time. You can't watch the fight on members only. And I, you know how we do. I'll share the screen so you can watch the fight with me. You feel me? So, we good. Oh, she said I stole it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> going to jail you going to jail pirate I, man i can't believe they didn't have the fight available on your fire stick tv next time next time it's on i'm gonna check it on my tv and before i check it on on my app because that's crazy i can't believe that all right boom philip h he said y'all be safe have a good weekend folks y'all be safe uh martinez uh Thanks, Mark Dash, for the show tonight. No doubt, Philip H. Yeah, man, it's um, got a Super Bowl tomorrow. Anybody watching the Super Bowl? Press A for the Chiefs, B for the Eagles. A for the Chiefs, B for the Eagles. A for the Chiefs, B, uh, B for the Eagles. And I'm going to do a neighbors only roll call and I'll see what y'all wrote after that. Yeah, I'm out of here, man. Hell yeah. I'm here talking to y'all all night. Not up here. Gonna do the members only. Uh, Juan Devilla, what up? What up? Beyond the Ring with Nonito and Rachel Donaire. Yes, sir. We got a future Hall of Famer that's supporting the show. What about that? What up? Kansas City Mac. What up? That guy Eclipse 330. What up? True Media Today USA Boxer. That's my guy, Coach Malachi Williams. What up? Tar Hill Resin. What up? Porto. What up? Stephen Bateman. What up? Who Revolution. What up? <clears throat> Excuse me. C Jones 0224. What up? KP from KC5. What up? TJR. What up? Matt Wade. What up? DJ. What up? Karma Serene with the Serene Saturdays. What up? Ill Status Boxing. What up? Ace Retro. What up? Tank the Sweet Science Examiner, my brother. What up, gangsta? Beyond Above Media. What up? Pittsburgh T. What up? SF City Slicker. What up? I know boxing. What up? Boxing Lounge. What up? Excuse me. It's Mex. What up? Mike from Boston. What up? Rod of the Storm. What up? Here to There. What up? Miss Queen Sunkissed. What up? Taylor Bell. What up? Maddie Yoel. What up? Cliff Bailey. What up? Con What up? Lisa Bells. What up? Cooking with the Champ. What up? On the mic with Terrence Bailey Sr. What up? HLDZ. What up? Cooking with Sir Sr. What up? Brandon Washington. What up? Lady Shan Dunn, them seeds in my UK girl all the way in London town. What up, gangsta? D Bevel the champ. What up? And of course, the big fish himself, my good brother, Derek Lincoln. What up, gangsta? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see what they saying in the chisel. Let me see what they saying in the chisel. Who y'all got? Okay, KC by 14. You're trying to cover the spread. Um, Kansas City, Kansas City for Deuce. Toby got Kansas City. Philip Page got the Eagles. Food Revolution said Kansas City only because my mama likes them. I gotta work. <laughs> All right, Lisa Bell said Kansas City. I'm watching for Rihanna though. Hey, I ain't mad at that. I think Hope gonna come out with her too, so she's gonna bring Jay Z out. Matty, yo, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed the show as much as I enjoyed bringing you this episode. My bad. Who's this? Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the show as much as I enjoyed bringing y'all this episode, bringing y'all this content. I'm going to always end it like this. Hey, look, man. Dreams require sleep. Goals require effort. Go out in there and get your goals. You can go to Mark Nash in the description block. I got a description block. Go right there in the description block. Get your T-shirt or hoodie. Uh, copy your coffee mug, a pillow, or something. We got some merch out there for you. And most importantly, man, again, congratulations to Oshaki Foster. Congratulations. Much deserved. Much deserved. Much deserved. Made history for your family tonight. Made boxing history. You are now in a special group of people who went in there and became world champions. World champion, WBC super featherweight champion, Oshaki Foster. It won't no damn robbery, neither. It was not a damn robbery. 
get that out your head. Don't let nobody start spreading that rumor, man. That's the, like I said, man. That's one of the worst things about the sport, man. Have a good fight, good night. The guy who got his ass kicked didn't even say he uh he got robbed. Come on now. All right, so look, I'm gonna do this members only episode. I don't really know uh, what y'all if y'all gonna pull up or what y'all want to do about that. But um, damn, I got to talk about these um aliens. Let me see who it is before I let it go. Call us from Tony. Tony, where you from? Hello. Tony, where you from, big dog? Oh, where am I from? Yeah. I'm from your mother's target piece. Whoa. Ugh. Now you ain't from my mama's spot. <laughs> you don't know my mama. All right. It's always one, though. It's always one. Sometimes you got to take the good with the bad. It's a live show, baby. So there you go. So as always, shout out to my guy, Mike Biggs. What up? All right. So, yeah, this was a good show, man. I really enjoyed chopping it up with y'all. hope y'all enjoyed the content as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Yeah, man, we might talk about them damn aliens coming out. Um, but I got some other shit we could talk about, too, on the members only. So with that said, <laughs> she, Lisa Bell said, nah, nigga, yo, mammy. <laughs> right. With that said, man, always remember, man, respect is free. Disrespect can cost you everything, your family, your freedom, your finances. Most importantly, your life. All right. Um, so that's it for me, man. I see y'all on on the members only. Give me about five minutes. Give me about five minutes to set it up. And yeah, I'm gonna click the live button and I put it on the tab. So the members, you'll see it. I would switch it over right here, but I learned like if you switch it over and do it a certain way, everybody gets the show instead of the members. And we want to give the members that extra content. Cause in the words of Brandon Washington, I pay for this. <laughs> So I love y'all. Hope you love yourself. If not, guess what? God loves you. So does Mark Nash in the neighborhood. Hey, look, man, sometimes we're going to agree. Sometimes we're going to disagree when we're doing this show. But one thing's for certain, two things for show, homeboy. Never forget this. I built this shit. Me. Brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. And I mean that shit. Again, congratulations. Congratulations. So Sharky. Foster, you did good, man. You did good. You did right. All right, man. I see y'all on the members only. Give me about five minutes. All right, peace. This is that squad side. This is me, man. Subscribe. I don't care how many subscribers he has. Support him. So he made all this possible. He made this possible. Nah, Dr. Mark, God made this possible. God made all this possible. And so did viewers like you. Members only starting about five minutes, maybe 10. I got to go to the bathroom. But yeah, so give me 10 minutes or less. All right. Love y'all. Peace.